what's up my easy bakers so today we're gonna be i'm gonna show you how i did my mickey mouse inspired nail art i did not come up with this myself i'm gonna link the person in the description box um that inspired this look i think she does a wonderful job and for short nails like mine okay oh y'all excuse me girl first you're gonna take um red i'm using essie i believe it's pampered red color and i'm applying that to my pinky finger my middle finger as well as my thumb okay All right, you guys, so once you get done with that, you're gonna add your white nail polish to your pointer finger. The white I'm using is Sally Hansen, so I'm using a lot of Sally Hansen's products as well as Essie and some few off-brand products as well. It really doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure that you cover your nail until they're opaque. Now I'm taking another Sally Hansen, um, what is it called? Silver nail polish and applying that to my ring finger. So if you guys happen to make a quite a few mistakes, don't worry about it because you can just take 100% um, acetone, which is not the best thing. It's not the most healthiest thing, but whatever. Acetone in a, in a fine brush and just go over, clear out all of those mistakes. That is what's going to make your nails look a little bit more professional, you know, than anything else. You get me? Then you're going to take that same white nail polish that you put on your index finger and just put random dots on your pinky finger. And that's just pretty much it for your pinky finger. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to start with Mickey. What you're going to do is take some black nail polish. I am using Essie's Licorice. And you're going to make like a heel on your finger. Because this is going to be his the background of his face and things like that, okay? So you make that little kind of like a crescent. And you fill it in towards the bottom half of your nail. And you're going to let that dry. Then you're gonna get a large dotting tool or a safety pin, and you're gonna make Mickey Mouse's ears. You're gonna let that dry completely. Um, don't worry about that silver nail that y'all see done because we're gonna redo that. Now I'm taking a bobby pin, and on my white index fingers, I'm just placing random dots. Just random dots. You can this. You can always use a bobby pin. You do not have to buy a dotting tools. You can use a bobby pin. So now I'm taking a smaller. Um, uh, tool and I'm making Mickey Mouse's ears and I'm putting some upside down sideways just to add a little bit more dimension okay and now with his um, thumb I'm gonna do the same thing I'll make it like a smaller little heel on there to cup and fill it in it's not gonna be as the heel is not gonna be as high as Mickey's just enough for you can cover like a little less than half of your nail and this is gonna be Mickey's pants. So then I'm taking my bobby pin and white nail polish that you guys can see, putting it in there and dragging that baby down, girl. So now your black for your Mickey Mouse should be done. Now I'm taking OPI, Tickle My Fancy, which is nothing but a beige color, and we're gonna make Mickey Mouse's face. So you're gonna take that color in the same oval that you made. You're just gonna make one that's not an oval, y'all, but that same little heel that you made. You're gonna make another one just slightly smaller. And then you're gonna take your brush again and come over a little bit to make Mickey Mouse's cheekbones. And once that is dry, you're gonna add a, a very small dotting tool. And you can, this is optional, and you can add like a little triangle on, cause you know Mickey Mouse do have that little triangle down right there. I think that's real cute. So you can do that with a small dotting tool, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Then you can take your bobby pin and make Mickey Mouse eyes. And don't forget his nose, okay? Now you can add your fast drying top coat and you're all done. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about the silver one. So I did have to remove that silver because I forgot to put on my shiny fingers when it comes to silver, I like to add another sh shimmery silver so it could pop. Can you see the difference? Period. <laughs> so you do that and you add a Mickey Mouse the same way that you did previously with the white finger, but just add it larger, okay? 
apply a fast drying top coat to seal everything in but before you apply your fast drying top coat you do want to go ahead and clean up all of your mistakes glitter is very hard to clean up so that's why i was like let me put this top coat on and keep moving forward but put that put your top coat on put you some coconut oil on or some type of cuticle oil especially if you use that 100 percent acetone because that is not that healthy for your cuticles do that you're done honey this lasts me about two to three days and that's it thank you guys please comment let me know if you liked it what other things you guys would like for me to go ahead and recreate i'm definitely going to link the young ladies um channel down in my description box when i come back from one of my vacation so it won't be on there right now but i will link it when i come back all right let me know you guys bye easy bakers